kicked out over a service dog. A Bradenton woman is furious tonight over the way she was treated at a local fast food restaurant. She has a doctor's note that says she needs her dog. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard is at the McDonald's right now. And Peter, uh, you know, I, I see these service dogs sometimes wear a little vest or something like that. Did this dog have anything to indicate that she is a service dog? Jen, and that is part of the problem. The answer to that is no. This dog did not have any kind of a tag. The owner of this service dog has that doctor's note you mentioned a second ago. It spells out all about this dog. But the problem is she had it at the counter. She didn't have it at the counter. It was in her car. Oh, can There we go. When Alicia Griggs leaves her apartment, you can bet her one-year-old Pomeranian named Onyx is right by her side. She's either traveling in this doggy purse or in her arms. Friday morning at this McDonald's, as Alicia ordered a drink at the counter... They um, told me no pets, and I said, she's not a pet, she's a service dog. They asked me if I had paperwork for her, I said yes. She retrieved this note from her car. At this point, Alicia says things got nasty. They told me that the paperwork basically wasn't good enough, and they wanted to know what my disability was. Alicia called the Manatee Sheriff's Office. A deputy told her McDonald's had to let her in. So did you go back? I did go back and I got a drink just kind of to prove a point. A McDonald's rep tells me Alicia's dog wasn't obviously a service dog and had nothing to show that she was one, calling this incident a misunderstanding. The company issued a statement saying, we welcome customers to our restaurant with service animals. We have reached out to the customer to resolve the issue. Alicia isn't looking for money or food coupons. She did get a phone call. Honestly, I would like a real apology from her. I kind of felt like that's kind of owed to me. That Alicia could get a small dog tag to inform people that Onyx is a service dog, and she told me tonight she just might do that. Jen? Well, Peter, we saw that graphic there with the uh, McDonald's statement, and to be very clear, McDonald's does allow service animals. Absolutely, and that's the law. They have to. They did suggest, though, and the, the suggestion is that they didn't know that this was a service dog. There was no vest. There was no tag. So perhaps Alicia will do that, and that'll avoid any confusion in the future. Peter Bernard, live in Bradenton Forest. Thank you, Peter.